Hello, my name is Cricket and I am here to do the ALS Association Ice Bucket Challenge. I was nominated by my nephew, Gavin Caffrey, and um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I have two twists for you in this challenge. Uh, the first one uh, is actually right behind me. So rather than me take the Ice Bucket Challenge, I am going to uh, add some cold water to my fish tank because my fish are hot because it's been hot here and uh, I would rather use the water than just dump it. So here we go. I also made a donation to the ALS Association and I have another twist. So my uh, my next twist, twist number two, uh, is going to take me just a second, so hang on just a moment and uh, I'll be right back. So twist number two is uh, quite a bit more somber. Um, there's been a lot of activity in the news about the ALS Association and um, all the money that they're collecting in order to help with research and um, I think that that's really important and I think that um, it's really important that they have access to the medications that they need in order to uh, be able to survive to the best of their abilities but I think that there's also a lot of other conversations that we need to be having in our communities and um, so I'm going to add twist number two to, to my ALS challenge. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it into a conversation about violence. Um, I not only made a donation to the ALS Association, but I also made the same size monetary donation to the Michael Brown Memorial Fund. Um, Michael Brown is an 18-year-old kid that stole some something, cigars or something like that, from a convenience store in Ferguson, which is in Missouri, near St. Louis. And uh, police decided, a police officer, Darren Wilson, decided that uh, it was apparently justified to shoot Michael Brown repeatedly, including two shots to the head and then to leave his body in the street for his community to have to look at for four hours in the hot sun. Now, this police officer has not been charged with any sort of crime still. It's been many, many days, many, many requests later for justice for Michael Brown. And that's not happening because instead of providing justice to the community, government, the local officials, and the federal government for that matter, have decided that calling in the National Guard and having heavily armed police officers shooting tear gas and rubber bullets at generally peaceful protesters who are just really upset at the fact that justice is not being served and that Michael Brown died in the middle of the street because of gun violence and oppression of police, basically because of the color of his skin. So my challenge is going to be to make a sign about nonviolence and hang it up in a visible place. Take a picture of it, make a video of it, whatever or to have a conversation about nonviolence and or oppression with one or more people in your community. Again, you could take a picture of the group of people that you're talking to. You could provide highlights to what your conversation entailed, insights and revelations that you might have come to in your conversation that maybe you think other people would benefit from. Or, or and, rather, and make a donation 
to the Michael Brown Memorial Fund on GoFundMe or to any organization that promotes nonviolence. May oppression and violence end everywhere. May justice and peace come to every family and community. May compassion, solidarity, and humanity be the way of the future. I nominate Doreen McGee, Caverly Morgan, Lisa Loving to complete the challenge and to nominate three more people within 24 to 48 hours. Again, the challenge is to make a sign about nonviolence and hang it up in a visible place or have a conversation about nonviolence and or oppression with one or more people in your community and to make a donation to the Michael Brown Memorial Fund on GoFundMe or to your favorite organization that promotes nonviolence. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to my video. Please be nice, be peaceful, have compassion, think from your heart, be respectful, promote peace and unity and solidarity. We are one. Peace.